Hi, I'm Miles Bruderman, Motion Control Editor with Design World Magazine, and welcome to our Motion Control Selector video series. Today we're going to talk about how to select a clutch and or brake for an application by looking at a few of the most important factors. The difference between clutches and brakes is that clutches are used to transfer torque, while brakes are used to stop a load, typically a rotating load. At the most basic level, uh, determine if the application calls for a clutch, a brake, or a combination clutch and brake. A clutch would be used in applications where it's desirable to engage or disengage a load and motor while leaving the motor running. When a clutch is used, the load is allowed to coast to a stop. A brake would be used in applications where accurate stopping of the load is needed and the motor will stop as well. A clutch and brake combination would be used where the load will be started and stopped while the motor continues to rotate. The next choice is unit mounting. Both clutches and clutch brakes can mount to the motor shaft or be base mounted and have input via a belt drive, chain drive, or coupling. Next, define the motor horsepower and motor frame size. In the case of base mounted units, it may be necessary to define the RPM at that location. Manufacturers generally provide quick selection charts where unit size is determined by finding the intersection of motor horsepower and speed at the clutch shaft. The charts are commonly created using the dynamic torque capacity for the product and the torque capacity for the motor, plus an overload factor of some value. Using this method presumes that you've selected a motor that's sized um, appropriately to the application. In applications where cycle rates are considered aggressive for the inertia of the load, uh, it's a good idea to consult with the application support staff of the manufacturer. The last remaining variable is coil voltage. The most common options are 6, 24, and 90 volt DC, with 90 volt being widely preferred in North American markets, while 24 volt is more common in Europe. In both cases, clutch brake manufacturers can provide power supplies to convert AC to DC if required. Having answers to these basic questions will help ease the selection process. 